Today I will show you how you can add different animation states to a character. So for example when the player picks up a gun, it should play other idle, run, jump, jump loop and jump start animations. And now we will create something like that. So first of all we have to go into our character blueprint. So we go to blueprints and then my character. Now in here we have to create a new bool variable. So go to variable, then choose bool and then type in a name. For example, um, has weapon and that's it. Now add the variable to your event graph, choose set and then copy this another time. Now at the first set up here we have to activate has weapon and the second one we can leave it like that. Now we somehow have to activate those two variables. In my case I will just do this with a normal event. So just do a right click, type in one and then I will just add a key event. And press should activate the variable and release should deactivate it. Now you could also do this with a pickup or something else from another blueprint, therefore you just have to cast the character blueprint, so the my character, into your other blueprint. But I will leave it like that now because it's a simpler way and it shows how everything will work. So just go to compile and then I will go to save. Now we have to create another blend space. So we'll just go to character and then I will just duplicate this one here. So right click, then we'll go to create a copy and let's say we'll give it a name. Um, weapon mode. Now open it and then add your animations into it. So for example we'll just take the walking animation. We'll delete those ones here. Like this one. Then for idle I will add jump start. And let's say running will be walking. Okay, that's it. That's my blend space now. Of course you can create a much more complex one, but I will just keep it simple now. Now go to save, and then open up the animation blueprint. Now in here you have to go to the event graph. Now we have to cast our my character blueprint. So go to the try get pawn owner, drag this out, then type in my character, and then you can already see casting cast to my character. Okay, now connect this one here, the cast to my character, with this set here and then drag this one here out and type in weapon or the name from the bool variable so we just add the get has weapon then go to blueprints down here to my blueprint and then click on to variable choose bool and then type in for example has weapon underscore and in blueprint and add this one to the event graph and then set and now connect the has weapon with the has weapon and in blueprint and the cast my character with the set. Now go into your anim graph, open up the default state machine and now in here we have to add another state which will play the animations from our weapon mode. So we'll just put this down here, select everything and drag this down. Then we'll do another right click, go to add state and I will give it the name idle run underscore and let's say weapon mode. Now connect this one here, the idle one, with the idle run weapon mode. Then click onto this little link here. And in here we have to add our variable. So down here you can already see it. Drag it in. Choose get. And then connect it. Now we have to create another link from the idle run weapon mode to the idle run. So we'll just put this down here. Then we'll do a double click here. There we also have to add our variable. So we'll just select this. Then we have to get it, then drag this out and type in not. And then choose not boolean. And connect it with the result. Ok, that's it. Now we just have to add our animation to our idle run weapon mode. So do a double click onto it, the asset browser, and add the new blend space. Connect this one here, and then add the variable. And click onto compile. Now in here you could also add some other states like jumping and so on. There you just have to drag out this one here. Then add another state, for example, jump start. Then do a double click onto it and add another variable. But I will just leave it like that now. Okay, now we can try it out. So click play from here. As you can see here, it plays the normal animations. But now when we press 1, it plays our other animation states. As you can see here. Now when we deactivate 1, it plays our normal animations again. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and until next time.